Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back for another episode of anti Chain. Almost certainly the last episode. We are at the final puzzle. And we want this black cube. And we've got to get there. Get it, but we have no cubes right now. And there's a bunch of cubes we can get. And that's going to be the thing we're shooting for. So we're just going to start wandering around this puzzle area trying to notice that there's just a ton of uh, doors. Every journey comes to an end. That is true. It's, it's a cool final puzzle because it mostly integrates everything we've learned up to this point and it keeps our goal even though the game never never really bothered to tell us that our goal was to get the black cube, uh, it keeps that within view for most of the puzzle. It's it's a very uh, video game programmer type thing to do, uh, but it helps quite a lot. It's good level design. 101 is an interesting doorway. And then here's a wall that won't allow me to carry any cubes through. And then here's the other side of that doorway. And you'll see what that's for if you haven't figured it out yet. So that was a full circle. Now we go down. I'm going to look so smart solving these puzzles. Here's another one. Can't take cubes from one point to the other puzzle where we are under here. Now this is interesting because you have the yellow walls which means they'll destroy any, any cubes in your gun. And then you have this red wall which means it will destroy any cubes that touch it. And it's a little odd that it has both... I don't, I'm not sure if there really is a reason for the red wall. We take this elevator up, we go this way, we are on glass, and that thing is putting off like a blackness shadow. Go through here, go through here. Notice all these green doors are one-way doors. I think green doors have been one-way doors for the whole uh, game. And Potentially we haven't learned that, but I really haven't figured out what any of the colors mean. We can appreciate the entire journey by looking back at how far we've come. And so we've got a bunch of cubes. An infinite amount of cubes. If we wanted to, say, drag this, we could for whatever that is worth. So, stand on the cube and get some height. And now we have to work our way backwards through the area we just walked through. So we need to open this blue door, can't get through the green one pretty easily fill that area and fill that area and the door's still not open because we actually need to have none of them exposed and the door did open but it was only for a second so a little bit of timing needs to go on here
drag this. I'm trying to make a fuse. I hope this works. Nope. Oh, no, it's not a puzzle of anything like that. It's just drag it out of the way. Any of these refill ones that regenerate, just drag them out of the way. Simple enough. And just drag it out of the way. And the doorway is open. It's kind of, you have to remind yourself you can drag them. Drag things. And then we're back at this section where it's the old trick that we learned very early on that you can just use these to stop yourself as you're falling down. Or you can just fall through it if the game decides to glitch out. Either way works. You know what I would have been to do. So now I can't take the cubes through this section. I have to channel them under this section. So, also, I can't take them through these sections. So what I have to do is this. That should be enough. Then jump through here. Now I can suck out a bunch of these. And that's why that wall was here. And so you just wouldn't go forever against the wall. This is easy enough. Middle click, left click to fill out the section. And when it, you stop hearing the sounds, it is full, and it is filled all the way this way. Take the opportunity to suck back as many as you want. And we've got it with us. We really have gone from, with the red gun, you've really gone from it being a huge struggle to just have a few cubes to, uh, if you have a few, you have more than enough. So this is a new concept, but it's pretty easy to figure out. You just put your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubes in here, then run through here and lose all your other cubes. And then from this side, you grab them back. Seven is more than enough to replenish you to an infinite amount of cubes. In fact, we recently found you only need five cubes, maybe only two. I think you only need two. Easy enough to fill that up with the red trick. Uh, you don't have to drag anything anymore. It's just middle click, left click button. It fills out all of these doors easily shoot that from all the way over there now I can't go backwards so I can only go as far as this point this is where we started I believe back to the very first point. No, I don't think we can. The doorway we came in was blocked by a 151 gate. So we've been everywhere in this puzzle and we 
finally gotten to the bug queue. So all we need to do is right click on it and suck it up. Takes a while, knows your gun goes black and the world gets destroyed around you. Everything. So, in theory, we may not actually be in the antechamber anymore. Either that or we are in the section of the antechamber that is close to the exit. All of a sudden we're seeing columns and we're hearing storms and we're seeing giant black spheres. And we have bridges. I feel like this ending is kind of drastically different from what the rest of the game was and it was probably intentional but it it breaks the dialogue I feel like it, the dialogue of the artistic style I could see this being like anti-chamber 2 and having puzzles more and more be like this would be fine but this is just so different so we have a left and a right option and this black sun so we'll go left it went right the last time but I don't think it really matters because I think the black sun is probably there's only one of them and we're going in circles so every time we go from one point to another point, we're just uh, getting teleported in magical circles. We'll see. Here's the black sun, keep an eye on it. And look, we just came in on the left side, and now we're coming out the right side, which means, and if that's true, that means this, if I don't get stuck on the edges, should lead us right back down to we started. And is that where this is going to lead us? Yes, it is. Oh, I didn't realize you could do this. So you can bl place the black cube anywhere you want. And it will just do a shadow of blackness. So if I just stuck it back here, oh, it puts color. That is interesting. And it, it goes from a cube to a sphere. So, it's interesting that there might be something hidden somewhere. So I think there's only really one column and one black sphere and one intersection. I think that's all that is in this area, and it is just in its four-dimensional trickiness going in circles. So we went left before, let's go right. I put a black cube here and I try and jump on it or drag it, nothing happens. What, what happens if I middle click and click on it? No, I only have one. Is the black sphere here again and yes, it just goes back down to the section. So, notice there's a platform up here. That's what we're shooting for. That's what I wanted to hit. Was you, it's an infinite drop in a loop. And I wanted to land on this platform and see if I can jump. I'm on the edge of something. 
think I'm supposed to be on the edge here. I think I missed the jump. Alright, back down. Oh. See, we see it here at a different height. I want to jump this way. On the edge. And this is where we were before, so I want to go this way. And I missed it. Let's try this way. jump down or walk spiral in some way. I have no idea how you would get this to work. I guess you could jump down this way. jump. Just don't be terrible at jumping and you can make the jump. Wow. That was easy. Far too easy. We're walking down this section and we have a three-way section which I suspect is not the same three-way section. And we'll walk this way. We have to jump up which is slightly annoying and then there's a round section. Nothing here. It makes the sound of animals too. The water. Watch walk up here, jump up here. We're getting on the level of the black sphere. Which we're seeing on both sides, but I swear there's only one. Uh, oops. Well I've fallen now, so if you're gonna fall, the easiest thing is to try and just land somewhere. It's, if you had any doubt, this was an infinite loop. There's your answer right there. Well, that wipes that whole section out. originally thinking of even putting a, like, is that the floor, or is that an empty spot? I think that's an empty spot right there. Uh, him thinking about having the floor fall out from under you. Uh, and this is where you end up. So close, and yet so far. This is the final point where you, you really have to jump. And you're not intended to make it. In fact, you you never were intended to make it. I don't think really there's any way to get to the spheres without jumping. I think that's the only way. we've seen how we fall so 
several times. And the sphere starts to open. And there is a grayed out cube. Now, look here. Let's not fall off the edge, but we'll run around this side. For the black sphere, which I swear there's only one. Not seeing any others, are we? Uh, there's really no path. Like, that looks like it's a path. And maybe if you landed on that path through falling through the air, you it would get you to this point. But the solution, that I think, is always you have to jump. So... And that makes that section white because it's black. So let's stand back and click on it. We stuck it in the air in the wrong place. Oh, we gotta be a little bit closer, I think. There we go. And it builds a wall around this and sit back and watch. inspired and impossible and now it's making a impossible circle and it's sucking in the shell and this is the anti-chamber symbol that was the logo for the game uh -oh. if it's sucking everything in what happens to me? Where do I go? Was this a mistake? Should I have just appreciated life inside the antechamber? I think I probably should have. Alexander Bruce, the creator of this game, and take note that there aren't very many other names. Robert Arnott uh, probably worked on it too. I don't know if they worked. I don't know in what capacity all of these people. Siddhartha Barnhum, that is the name, Julian Bruce. Uh, so that's like four. Mike Blackney. Uh, anti -gym. So five people had their hands on this game. And it is just excellent for that level. Unfortunately, it also exits straight up when you are done. So here's, you'll get to see the loading logo. As I relaunch it, it just wants exit straight to desktop. And this is what it does whenever you've you load the game every time. It just loads up all of the things. Uh, I am I am a little bit burned by the fact that I never got this one. Let me know in the comments again for that moral. But we've done it. That is all there is to say and do for Antichamber. It is a surprisingly great puzzle game considering the fact that you are definitely originally of the thought that these puzzles are going to be incredibly difficult. The puzzles actually aren't difficult. They are definitely a new way of thinking and it takes some training which the game actually teaches you and you learn uh, but this is actually close to a perfect puzzle game. 
Now, I have to ding it, it doesn't have any stories. It doesn't explain its map at the end or any part in the game. You have to kind of figure that out. So the map itself becomes the most difficult puzzle in the game. Uh, but beyond that, it doesn't have any story. The music's fine, it, it plays over and over again. I wish there was a music volume adjuster because probably through this whole series the music has been too loud. Sorry about that, couldn't do anything. Either I'd either play the game in total silence, which would be just as annoying, or uh, have it go. So some of the sounds, the sounds and the colors never really got explained to me. If there is some logic to, to that, I'd love to know it down in the description if somebody has done an in-depth research of this and they say, oh yes, every green color means this, every red color means this, every water sound means this, every bird sound means this. Um, there's a lot of elements here that right now feel like they were red herrings, but I, I'm not sure they all were. Um, I love the kind of laid back moral system here of t saying some very basic things. Every journey is a series of choices. The first is to begin the journey. Uh, nothing really offensive. Every journey comes to an end uh, that you could really take from any of these morals. These are almost platitudes in their morals because they're not anything really that difficult. I love the art style. Uh, I think maybe the black and white white was a little overplayed because you could have had this not been black and white and done the same game basically. It didn't really add or take away from it. I like the black and white art style but I'm not sure this really needed it, this game. Uh, I wish there was more of a menu. I wish there was some achievements to push me along and do something. There's definitely some interface stuff just to quit, you just hold escape, but then to get back to this point, you hit escape. Uh, that's weird. Uh, so he, it's kind of funny that using the Unreal Engine, he could make such a, they could make such a great game, and yet they couldn't figure out how to make a menu, or they just decided this is the way to do the menu, uh, which is weird. I wish there was some story or something could be pushed on. I would love to see an anti-chamber too. You could take some some of these concepts and make some more, uh, more puzzles. The puzzles are all very well thought out. If I brute forced or somehow beat a puzzle uh, in the wrong way, let me know, but I don't think I, I really did. I think every solution I came across is probably what he intended. Uh, so yeah, this is a great game, definitely worth playing. Even if you've seen all the puzzles now, by the time you start playing, you probably won't remember half of them. And uh, there's a little bit of skill in this game with jumping around and running. Uh, maybe that should be there. Uh, because it was never something I was really trained to do in this game. I wasn't trained to jump on the elevators a lot. Unlike Portal or Portal 2, where you very, in many occasions, are trained to fling yourself through portals and do, like, high action maneuvers, the jumping on the elevators is not very, not smooth enough, and it's not something I did enough of that I felt like I was an expert by the time we were at the end of the game. But, those, those are really just tiny criticisms, mostly. It's fine. I lo the length is fine. If, if it had gone much longer, it probably would have gotten frustrating uh, because of that. Uh, there actually was some great layout, particularly when we were doing the climbing the tower sections. Uh, how when you start doing the climbing the tower sections, it really just put, puts you in this whole loop where you would run into most things. So it'd be kind of hard to miss the important things, but I definitely did miss the ex some of the extra things be when I played this and beat it before. I wish I hadn't lost that footage, that was silly, uh, but 
it's fine. It get, actually gave me several more episodes. That's going to be it for this series. Click on my name, Rhino, and click on that playlist tab to see what other games I've covered. And come back tomorrow because a new series will be starting at this same time this was released. So something will be replacing this. I, I'm not sure what it will be, but it will be something interesting, I'm sure. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this episode. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos because all that helps me a lot with YouTube. If you want to support me, and that would be greatly pre appreciated if you do, you can click on my name righto to get to my main YouTube page again. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click that and make a donation. And I need support on all the social media sites like Google Plus and Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and I even have a couple links down in the description to friend me on Steam and Battle.net and that would be helpful too. So if you click on those links, follow and friend me on all those services, that, that would be really helpful. Thank you for watching this series. Uh, have a good evening.